Welcome back to another episode of Tech TLDR. In today's SpaceX news update, we are talking about the SN9's possible launch, why it didn't launch yesterday, and what's going on surrounding the news on that. So, earlier, Elon Musk had tweeted that they are hoping for FAA approval of test flight tomorrow afternoon. Now, when Elon Musk tweeted this, he tweeted at a really odd time of 5.30, so a lot of people had speculated if he just hadn't gone to bed yet, and by tomorrow he meant Tuesday, as in today, January 26th. So a lot of people were concerned earlier, are we going to see it this afternoon, or are we going to wait, does he mean Wednesday afternoon? Now I have more evidence regarding that as to why I believe that we're going to see the Starship SN9 launch on Wednesday, tomorrow afternoon. But first, let's talk about why it didn't launch yesterday. So all systems seem to be good. The SN9 had done its static fire, which had gone well. The only problem was the winds in the Texas area and the visibility was so poor that by them doing that test, they would have not been able to do it successfully. When you had winds, I think they were like 30-something miles an hour, way too high for something like this to be going on, at least in a test scenario, when you have to have as many or as the least amount of outlying circumstances as possible. You don't want wind getting into this. If all systems are working properly, but the wind is what knocked it out, and the wind was what caused it to not be able to do a successful landing, that doesn't really help you much when you try to do the SN10 because you don't know if it was the wind or if it was a system problem. I don't blame them for postponing it, but again, I don't think it's going to be today. Locals in the area got another warning about a possible testing going on for today. However, there's no plan to evacuate. Now, when they do a natural launch, they evacuate residents because they don't want this thing launching, having a problem, and then having the Starship crash on somebody's house. That's the problem with doing these test flights in an area like this and being also a local to the area. You're going to always get these alerts. This is why, if you watched my previous episode, SpaceX recently bought an oil rig, two of them, to hopefully turn into launch pads. They don't have to worry about evacuating people. They don't have to worry about it coming down and crashing on someone's house. It's out in the ocean. It's away from people. There's no warnings they have to signal. They just have to clear the people who are on the actual launch pad itself to a safe area. Also, the TFR temporary flight restrictions from the FAA have now been posted for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So if we don't see it tomorrow, Wednesday, we might see it Thursday or Friday. And is there one posted for today for the TFR? Well, the answer is no. There's no longer a TFR for Tuesday anyways. So that kind of confirms, or it does confirm, that there is no SN9 launch going on today, guys. So if you were hoping for that, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but we're not going to see it today. Tomorrow, I've read that the weather for the area in Texas is not going to be that good. I don't think the SN9 will launch tomorrow. I think it's a 50-50. Again, they're at the mercy of the weather in this area. They can't control that. The systems look to be going well. Internally, SpaceX, if Elon Musk is tweeting that they're hoping to do it tomorrow, then I would assume that everything internally on SpaceX's end is going well. This is purely a weather predicament. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you guys think we'll see the SN9 tomorrow? What do you guys think? Do you want to see it tomorrow? I mean, I know you want to see it tomorrow, but do you think tomorrow will be the day, or do you think we're going to be seeing it Thursday or Friday? Also, I'm curious what you guys think. After SN9, what's next? Are we going to see the SN10 and 11 fly at the same time? Are we going to see a Starship with a Super Heavy? Like, that's what I personally want to see. Starship with a Super Heavy, go into orbit, and then come down and do a landing. That's what I'm excited for. Obviously, we have some time to go until we actually see that. But it's good to have hopes. It's good to have something to look forward to. And that's all I had to talk to you guys about on this episode. So be sure to click the like button if you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and just show that this is the type of content you want. And if you want more episodes like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have more content like this every day regarding not only the SN9, but when the SN10 comes out, everything regarding SpaceX, Blue Origin, NASA, stuff like that. I'm also going to be doing EV episodes in the future. So if you want more content like that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a good one.